do 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 looky what I've got here. Yes, this is my home deca Tamagotchi Giganto Ginormo big guy, which I find very cute. When I will tell you right now, I recommend it, but if you are going to take the plunge and purchase this, you might as well get one that is compatible with connecting with it, such as this Akai Red Pixeled Tamagotchi. Trying to get it to zoom. There he is. Hello. Sorry if you can see my reflection. I can't really avoid that. My fingers look like crap. Sorry. Yeah. So if we can get into this, really the home deck of Tamagotchi is like a gigantic portable Tamatown. So maybe not so portable. But that doesn't really matter. What's neat is that you can see the screen. And I understand why they made it so big. So you can really get the effect of all the features on this. It wouldn't be very fun on this itty bitty little screen. You couldn't fit, fit all the pixels and details. So if I can start off here, we're going to show you the menu screen. I'm going to try to do this quite fast so that it doesn't take, I don't know, 10 minutes. So you've got six icons here. This is like your basic Tama Town, like the website. You've got your house, which is expandable. You can buy items and upgrade them, which is quite neat for your little character. Um, so that's kind of your little underlying uh, aspirations in life. Then you've got your bank account. You've got your game center. You've got your store, which is like on any Tom Town. You can go and purchase things and transfer them. You've got your school, which you can just talk back and forth to characters. I can't understand Japanese, so it's not all that engaging for me. But if you can do it, that's fantastic. And then you've got your kingdom, which you go and you talk to the Tamagotchi king, and he picks who's the best one, and it shows the spotlight, and then somebody gets money. I'm not quite sure what that cultural... I don't know what that is about. Maybe you guys know. So let's start off with what's important here. So you've got your little red dude. And really what you're able to do is transfer items back and forth. So if I can start with the bank. So we got the bank. And here's your first item. This tells you how much you've got in the bank account. This one is the actual transfer. This one lets you gamble, which I don't recommend you guys getting in the habit of, which I'm sure a lot of you are minors anyway, so it's not a worry. There we go. So let's just say that I want to transfer, nah, I don't know, like 40 Tamagotchi dollar things. And we'll go on to the actual Tamagotchi toy here. And if you can get it in focus thing, you scroll over to the heart and you go to the third one down, which is preset, and it automatically recognizes it pretty quickly. So it transfers a package. It says, yay, I now have money to spend my life away. And he jumps up and down. Okay, so you are able then to either purchase more food on this actual unit itself, or you can go back and purchase items in the store on here. So let's take a look at how much money that we've got. It's $270. Yes. So actually, let's go all out and send more money so we can do a pretty good example. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yep, yep, 90. Go on here. Transfer. You can see. There it is. $90. So, as we're waiting on this, there's actually some pretty neat arcade games that you play on here. And it's pretty liberal. It gives a lot of money, which is a lot easier than doing the games on here. If you guys want a separate, another review for this, you can actually check out the review I'd done previously. It's somewhere in... The sidebar here, I did do it at one point. And now, let's go back on here. Let's go back to the home screen, and we will go now to our shop. So go into the shop. It's brightly running happily, yay. Gonna go spend more money. Okay, and so here we have three items. And this one is to transfer onto the toy. The rest of these down here are just items that you can purchase and expand on the actual home deck Atama, and that's a house upgrade, which I was telling you about earlier. So, okay, 
So this, this is just what happens to be up at the moment, but this is a special item. This is only for specific characters. So you can see I have the ninja. So if I select it, you can see, let you scroll through and pick only character specific items. This is some type of medicine and remedy. This is like train tickets or plane tickets or whatever travel. Um, this is purchasing palaces or something. I'm not exactly sure. This is a food shop, this is your treat shop, and this is another items that you can purchase, just like you would if there was a store on here. There actually isn't a store on here, that's the thing, is that that's probably why they had made this initially. I'm not quite sure. Uh, the little guy with the cart goes around and you can purchase items during certain times of the day, but you don't have the ability to just go out and spend a bunch of money. Which I actually like. Good job, you Japanese people. It's teaching good things. Uh, so, here we go. You can see there was a balloon. There was a ball. There's this jump rope thing. I'm going to go back and check my balance. Because I forgot how much I got. So it's 360. I have 360 something to spend. How about this? So this is a balloon. You can say, yes, I want that very badly. And you go back onto your toy here. And you go under there and you purchase it. So it's saying, okay, transferring. And so it doesn't right off the bat purchase it. It will open it to where you can see it on there. And I think then it lets you say, do you want to purchase this? It says it's 350. And I say, yes, I want to purchase it. And it purchases it. And it will store it under here, which is actually different for this toy. Because your purchase section is quite different. It's not up in here underneath your game section like it is on the American Tamagotchis. It's the second one down. You can see that there's the balloon. There's a ball. There are the, that's the special nunchuck items. So you can play with it. And it looks like he just likes to bounce on it. That's very cute. Yeah. So really, that is what this toy does. And that's how it connects with this. And... That's really all there is to say. If you guys want to see more about these two, the interaction, uh, leave me some comments and requests in my bar down here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you for being so patient as I got this out. It took a while for that language barrier for me to break that down and to raise this to a point where he was old enough to actually communicate back and forth with this. And if you guys can, please check out my new channel, which is called Hey, It Could Happen. You actually can type it in as one word, Hey, It Could Happen on YouTube and I have a site where you guys submit ideas and I tell improvised stories depending or I do whatever else. I'm just, you know, a bored person and I uh, need, you know, a creative outlet. So, thank you so much and yeah, rate and comment and subscribe and all that good stuff. Love you guys. Bye.